Sharing with friends. Question. Do you like to share things with your friends? Answer. Yes, I do enjoy sharing things with my friends as it helps to build trust and deepen our bond. I believe sharing shows thoughtfulness and strengthens the connection between us. Question. What kind of things do you share with friends? Answer. Typically, I share food, books, and sometimes clothes or accessories with my close friends. Sharing these items allows us to enjoy each other's tastes and recommendations, which I find enriching and enjoyable. Question. Would you share your personal achievements with friends? Answer. Absolutely. I enjoy celebrating my successes with friends as it feels rewarding to share such moments with those who support me. We also celebrate each other's achievements, which I believe strengthens our friendship. Question. Do you think sharing is an important quality in friendship? Answer. Yes, I consider sharing a fundamental quality in friendship. It reflects generosity and openness, helping friends feel valued and trusted. I think friendships thrive when there's a mutual willingness to share and support each other. Question, is there anything you wouldn't share with your friends? Answer, yes, there are some personal belongings and private matters that I prefer to keep to myself. While I believe in openness with friends, certain aspects of privacy are also important to maintain. Question, how does sharing affect your relationship with friends? Answer, I feel that sharing fosters trust and a sense of closeness in friendships. It creates a positive environment where friends can feel supported and valued, making our interactions more meaningful and enjoyable. Environmental Responsibility Question. What do you do when you see rubbish on the street? Answer. When I see rubbish on the street, I usually pick it up and dispose of it in the nearest bin. Although it's a small action, I believe that if everyone did the same, it would contribute significantly to keeping our surroundings clean and pleasant. Question. Do you think people in your country care about the environment? Answer. Yes, there is a growing awareness of environmental issues among people in my country. Many individuals are conscious of the need to protect the environment, but I think there's still room for improvement especially through education and awareness campaigns. Question. How often do you volunteer for environmental activities? Answer. I make an effort to join local environmental initiatives, such as community cleanup drives or tree planting events, a few times a year. These activities allow me to make a hands-on contribution to preserving and improving the environment around me. Question. What steps can the government take to reduce littering? Answer. The government could enforce stricter penalties for littering and invest in more accessible waste disposal facilities across public areas. Additionally, launching campaigns that raise awareness about the impact of littering and benefits of proper waste management could encourage a cultural shift towards environmental responsibility. Question. Do you recycle at home? Answer. Yes, I make it a point to separate recyclables such as plastics, glass, and paper to ensure proper disposal. I believe that even small actions like this at home can collectively contribute to reducing waste and conserving resources. Question. What are some challenges to maintaining a clean environment in urban areas? Answer. Overcrowding and limited infrastructure are significant challenges in urban settings. High population density leads to increased waste, and without efficient disposal systems, littering often becomes a common issue. Additionally, lack of awareness among residents can make it harder to maintain cleanliness in public areas. Movie Preferences Question. Has your taste in movies changed since you were younger? Answer. Yes, as I've matured, I've developed a preference for films with depth and realism, like dramas and documentaries, rather than the pure action or comedy I enjoyed as a child. I find these genres more thought-provoking and engaging. Question. Do you prefer watching movies at home or in a cinema? Answer. I enjoy both, 
but I find the cinema experience more immersive with the large screen and surround sound. Watching at home, however, offers more convenience and comfort, especially when I want to relax and take breaks as needed. Question. What types of films do you like to watch? Answer. I'm particularly drawn to thrillers and documentaries. Thrillers are engaging and keep me on the edge of my seat, while documentaries allow me to learn about real-world issues and perspectives, which I find fascinating. Question. Do you like watching movies with others or alone? Answer. I prefer watching movies with friends or family since it's enjoyable to share reactions, discuss scenes, and sometimes laugh together. It adds a social element that makes the experience more memorable. Question. How often do you go to the cinema? Answer. I typically go to the cinema about once a month depending on whether there's a film that really captures my interest. It's a bit of a treat and something I look forward to. Question. Do you follow any famous directors or actors? Answer. Yes, I follow a few directors known for their unique storytelling, like Christopher Nolan. I find his films captivating and thought-provoking, as they often explore complex themes and ideas. Social Interactions and Expressions Question, when do people smile at others? Answer, people typically smile when greeting someone, expressing gratitude, or simply enjoying the company of others. Smiling is a universal gesture that helps convey warmth and friendliness, so it's often used to show positive emotions in social interactions. Question, do you think smiling makes a difference in social interactions? Answer, absolutely. A smile can immediately make others feel more comfortable and welcomed, creating a positive atmosphere. It often breaks the ice, making interactions feel warmer and more genuine. Question, how often do you smile in a day? Answer, I make an effort to smile often throughout the day, especially during interactions with others. It's a simple way to lift the mood, both for myself and those around me and I find it helps create a more positive environment. Question. Do people in your country smile often? Answer. Yes, in general, people here are quite friendly and smile frequently, particularly when they greet or thank others. It's a cultural norm that reflects openness and politeness, especially in social settings. Question. Why do you think people smile at strangers? Answer. Smiling at strangers is often a polite gesture meant to convey friendliness and respect. It helps to create a welcoming atmosphere, and in many cases, it's a way to show goodwill or break down social barriers, even with those we don't know personally. Question. Is there a situation where you find it hard to smile? Answer. Yes, I find it difficult to smile when I'm feeling stressed or going through a challenging time. However, I still try to smile in these moments as it often lightens my mood and can help shift my mindset in a more positive direction. Career and Occupation Question. What work do you do? Answer. I work as a quality controller in the IT sector. My role involves carefully assessing products to ensure they meet rigorous quality standards before their release. I focus on identifying and resolving any issues to maintain high reliability and performance. Question. Do you enjoy your current job? Answer. Yes, I find my work very rewarding. It's both challenging and fulfilling, as it allows me to contribute directly to the quality of the products we produce. Ensuring high standards and seeing the positive impact of my work gives me a strong sense of accomplishment. Question. What job do you think you will be doing in five years? Answer. In five years, I aim to be in a managerial role within the quality department, where I can lead a team and implement strategic improvements. I look forward to contributing to higher-level planning and influencing quality initiatives on a larger scale. Question. What inspired you to choose this career? Answer. I've always been detail-oriented and interested in analysis, so quality control is a great fit for my skills and personality. 
I enjoy problem solving and ensuring high standards, so this career allows me to apply my strengths in a meaningful way. Question, how important is job satisfaction to you? Answer, job satisfaction is extremely important. I believe that when you enjoy what you do, it reflects in your performance and motivation. For me, feeling engaged and challenged at work is essential to maintaining both productivity and well-being. Question, would you consider changing your career? Answer, possibly, if an opportunity that aligns well with my interests and goals came along. I'm open to new experiences and continuous growth, so I would consider a shift if it allowed me to expand my skills and pursue meaningful work. Holiday and travel preferences. Question, do you prefer a holiday at a beach or somewhere else? Answer, I prefer beach holidays because they offer a relaxing and refreshing environment. The sound of the waves, combined with the natural beauty, creates a very calming atmosphere that helps me unwind. Question, what was the last place you visited on holiday? Answer, my last holiday was in Vancouver, where I enjoyed exploring the city's stunning natural landscapes and multicultural vibe. The blend of mountains, ocean views, and urban life made it a memorable experience. Question, how often do you travel? Answer, I try to travel at least once a year, though it depends on my work commitments and budget. Taking regular trips helps me recharge and explore new places. Question, would you like to travel abroad in the future? Answer, definitely. I'd love to visit Europe, especially to experience the diverse cultures, historical landmarks, and architecture that I've only read about or seen in pictures. Question, do you think traveling can be educational? Answer, absolutely. Traveling is a powerful way to learn, it exposes you to different cultures, languages, and perspectives, which can significantly broaden your understanding of the world. Question, do you usually travel alone or with others? Answer, I usually travel with friends or family. Sharing experiences with loved ones adds to the joy of traveling, and it's great to have company to explore new places together. Lifestyle Changes and Aspirations Question, what would you like to change about your lifestyle? Answer, I'd like to prioritize fitness by incorporating regular exercise into my routine. Improving my physical activity levels would not only boost my energy but also enhance my overall health and well-being. Question, do you think lifestyle changes are difficult to make? Answer, yes, lifestyle changes can be challenging, particularly if they involve breaking long-term habits. However, with commitment and small, consistent steps, these changes are manageable and rewarding. Question, have you made any lifestyle changes recently? Answer, yes, I recently started a daily morning meditation practice, which has significantly improved my ability to manage stress and start the day with a clear mind. Question, what inspires you to make changes in your lifestyle? Answer, I'm motivated by seeing the positive impact of small improvements. Witnessing better mental and physical well-being from these changes encourages me to continue striving for a healthier lifestyle. Question, do you think lifestyle affects one's health? Answer, absolutely. A balanced lifestyle, including healthy eating, regular exercise, and stress management, can have a profound effect on both physical and mental health, contributing to a higher quality of life. Question, will you change it if you have the chance? Answer, yes, I would embrace the opportunity. If I had more time and resources, I'd focus on a healthier diet, consistent exercise, and further stress reduction techniques to create a more balanced lifestyle. Time management. Question. Would you say you manage your time well? Answer, I make a strong effort to manage my time by planning out my day and prioritizing tasks. Although I do fairly well, I always see areas where I could refine my approach. Question, 
What tools do you use to manage your time? Answer, I rely on a digital calendar and to-do list apps to keep myself organized. These tools allow me to schedule tasks, set reminders, and track my progress throughout the day. Question, do you think good time management skills are important? Answer, absolutely. Effective time management is crucial for reducing stress, staying focused, and achieving goals more efficiently. It helps in balancing work and personal life, making each day more productive. Question, how do you handle deadlines? Answer, I break down tasks into smaller, manageable parts and set mini deadlines to avoid last-minute pressure. This approach keeps me on track and prevents me from feeling overwhelmed as the final deadline approaches. Question, have you ever had difficulty managing your time? Answer, yes, especially during particularly busy times at work. Managing multiple tasks can be challenging, but it's a continuous learning process that helps me improve over time. Question, what do you find is the biggest challenge to managing time? Answer, procrastination can be a major obstacle. Starting a task can sometimes be the hardest part, even when I know I need to get moving. Overcoming this requires focus and discipline, which I work on regularly. Hometown significance. Question, how important is your hometown to you? Answer, my hometown holds great significance for me. It's filled with cherished memories, and it's where my family still resides, which makes it a place I feel deeply connected to. Question, what are some things you like about your hometown? Answer, I appreciate the vibrant local culture and the friendliness of the people. There's a warm, welcoming atmosphere that makes it feel like home no matter how much time has passed. Question, would you consider moving away from your hometown? Answer, I've already moved away from my career, but I return frequently. It's comforting to maintain a strong connection to both my hometown and my current city. Question, has your hometown changed over the years? Answer, definitely, it's become more developed, with modern infrastructure, new businesses, and more urban amenities. Despite these changes, it has retained its unique character and charm. Question. Is there anything you dislike about your hometown? Answer, one downside is the congestion. Certain areas can get quite crowded, particularly during peak hours, and traffic can sometimes be a challenge. Question, would you recommend your hometown to tourists? Answer, absolutely. There's so much to explore in terms of culture, cuisine, and beautiful landmarks. It's a destination I'd highly recommend for a rich and memorable experience. Parenting and Child Development Question, should parents follow their children's ideas, or should they say no to them? Answer, I believe it's situational. Parents should be open to their children's ideas, as this fosters confidence, but they should also provide guidance or say no if they believe the choice could have negative consequences. Question, do you think children benefit from having freedom in decision-making? Answer, yes, having some freedom in decision-making helps children develop independence, critical thinking, and a sense of responsibility. However, it's essential for parents to set healthy boundaries to ensure safety and learning. Question, how involved should parents be in their children's education? Answer, Parents should be actively supportive in their children's education, helping with homework, attending school events, and encouraging learning. At the same time, it's important to allow children space to explore and overcome challenges on their own. Question, should children be given chores? Answer, absolutely. Chores can instill a sense of responsibility and self-discipline, and they help children appreciate teamwork and understand the value of contributing to the household. Question, how important is discipline in raising children? Answer, discipline is essential as it teaches children respect, self-control, and accountability. 
However, it should be balanced with empathy and understanding to ensure a positive and supportive learning environment. Question, how do you think parenting has changed over the years? Answer, parenting has evolved to become more focused on open communication and understanding, moving away from strict discipline toward a more nurturing, child-centered approach that emphasizes emotional support and individual development. Weather. Question, what's the weather like in your city? Answer, the weather in my city is generally moderate, with four distinct seasons. Summers are comfortably warm, autumn brings a crisp, refreshing air, winters are quite snowy, and spring is mild with plenty of sunshine. Question, do you like the weather in your city? Answer, yes, I enjoy experiencing each season fully. The seasonal changes add variety to daily life, although the winters can sometimes feel a bit long and harsh. Question, does the weather in your country change often? Answer, yes, especially in spring and autumn. The temperature can shift unexpectedly, with warm days often followed by sudden drops, which keeps us prepared for anything. Question, what's your favorite season? Answer, spring is my favorite season. It's when nature comes alive, with flowers blooming and trees regaining their leaves, and the mild weather feels just right, not too warm or cold. Question, how do you prepare for changes in the weather? Answer, I usually check the weather forecast every morning and dress in layers, especially during transitional seasons. This way, I can easily adapt if the temperature changes throughout the day. Question, does the weather affect your mood? Answer, yes, very much. Sunny days naturally uplift my mood and energize me, whereas cloudy or rainy days tend to make me feel more introspective and relaxed. Physical activity and lifestyle. Question, did you walk more in the past? Answer, yes. I used to walk quite a bit more, especially during my school days when I'd walk to and from school or around the neighborhood with friends. Walking was a big part of my daily routine back then. Question, where do you often walk? Answer, I usually prefer walking in parks or along the riverside near my home. The natural surroundings and fresh air make it a relaxing way to stay active and de-stress. Question. Do you think walking is important? Answer, absolutely. Walking is a simple yet effective way to maintain physical health, as it improves cardiovascular fitness and boosts mood. It's a low-impact exercise that almost anyone can do regularly. Question, how often do you go for a walk? Answer, I try to go for a walk every evening if the weather permits. It's a great way to unwind after a busy day and it helps clear my mind. Question, do you prefer walking or driving? Answer, I prefer walking whenever it's practical. It not only benefits my health but also reduces my carbon footprint, making it better for the environment. Question, have you tried hiking before? Answer, yes, I enjoy hiking. Being out in nature and exploring scenic trails is both refreshing and invigorating. Hiking offers a mix of exercise and adventure that walking in urban areas doesn't quite match. Daily routine and planning. Question, do you make plans every day? Answer, yes, I make it a habit to plan each morning, listing out my tasks and priorities for the day. This helps me stay organized and focused. Question, how do you keep track of your daily plans? Answer, I rely on both a planner and my phone calendar to track my daily schedule. The planner allows me to write detailed notes, while my phone keeps me on track with reminders. Question, do you think it's important to plan your day? Answer, absolutely. Planning my day keeps me productive and ensures I don't overlook important tasks. It also gives me a clear structure, which I find motivating. Question. How flexible are you with your daily plans? Answer, I try to stay flexible so I can adapt if unexpected events arise, 
but I prioritize key tasks to make sure the essentials are completed. Question. Have you ever had a day where nothing went according to plan? Answer. Yes, there are days when unexpected events completely change my plans. When this happens, I focus on adapting and staying positive, knowing I can return to my schedule the next day. Question. Do you find it difficult to make plans for your day? Answer. Not really. Once I set my priorities, organizing my tasks becomes quite straightforward. Having a routine also helps make the planning process smoother. Audio preferences. Question. Do you like listening to your recordings? Answer. Not really, but I do find it helpful on occasion, especially when I want to improve my speaking or presentation skills. Listening to myself allows me to notice any areas where I could work on clarity or expressiveness. Question. How often do you record yourself? Answer. I only record myself occasionally, usually when preparing for a presentation at work or practicing public speaking. It's a useful way to refine my delivery. Question. Do you think listening to your own recordings is helpful? Answer. Yes, it's actually quite beneficial. By listening back, I can identify areas that need improvement, whether it's in tone, pronunciation, or even the pace of my speech. Question. What type of audio content do you enjoy listening to? Answer. I enjoy podcasts and audiobooks, particularly on personal development and history. They're both interesting and informative, and they keep me engaged for long periods. Question. Do you prefer listening to recordings or reading text? Answer. It depends on the situation. For focused study, I prefer reading, but recordings are incredibly convenient when I'm commuting or doing something active. Question. Have you ever used recordings to learn something new? Answer. Yes. I use recordings quite often to learn new skills, especially languages. Audio content allows me to learn at my own pace and often makes the material more memorable. Celebrity. Question. Are there many celebrity athletes in your country? Answer. Yes, there are quite a few internationally recognized athletes from my country, especially in sports like cricket and hockey. Their achievements bring them a lot of fame and respect. Question. Do you follow any celebrities on social media? Answer. I follow a few celebrities, mainly for inspiration and to stay updated on their recent projects or interests. It's fascinating to see their journey and learn from their work ethic. Question. Do you think it's important to know about celebrities' lives? Answer. Not really. It's natural to be curious about famous personalities, but I don't think it's essential. It's more important to focus on personal goals and values. Question. Have you ever seen a celebrity in person? Answer. Yes, I once saw a well-known singer at an event. It was exciting, but I didn't get a chance to interact with them, so it was just a memorable sighting. Question. Would you like to be a celebrity? Answer, not particularly. While fame has its advantages, like wider influence and opportunities, I value my privacy and enjoy a simpler lifestyle. Question, do you think teamwork is important? Answer, yes, I believe teamwork is crucial in almost every aspect of life, from work to personal projects. It allows individuals to combine their strengths, share diverse ideas, and achieve common goals more effectively. Question. Can you describe a time when you worked in a team? Answer. Certainly. I worked on a project in university where we had to develop a marketing plan for a fictional product. Collaborating with my classmates was enlightening as we each brought unique perspectives, which enriched our project significantly. Question. What qualities do you think are important for good teamwork? Answer. Good communication, mutual respect, and flexibility are essential qualities for effective teamwork. Additionally, being open to feedback and having a shared vision can enhance collaboration. Question. How do you feel about working in teams? 
Answer, I enjoy working in teams, as it provides opportunities for learning and development. However, it can sometimes be challenging if there are conflicting ideas, but I think these challenges can lead to innovative solutions. Question, have you ever faced difficulties in a team setting? Answer, yes, I have encountered challenges, particularly when team members had differing opinions. However, we managed to navigate these differences by fostering open discussions and focusing on our common objectives. Question, do you think virtual teams are as effective as in-person teams? Answer, while virtual teams can be effective, they often lack the personal connection found in in-person interactions. However, with the right tools and communication strategies, virtual teams can still achieve their goals. Topic, fish and fishing. Question, do you like fish? Answer, yes, I love fish. It's one of my favorite sources of protein. I enjoy various types, whether grilled, baked, or in a sushi roll. Question, have you ever been fishing? Answer, yes, I have been fishing a few times with my friends. It's a relaxing experience, and I enjoy spending time outdoors, connecting with nature. Question, what do you think about fishing as a hobby? Answer, I think fishing can be a wonderful hobby. It allows people to unwind, enjoy nature, and even bond with family or friends. Plus, it can be quite rewarding when you catch something. Question, are there many fishing spots in your country? Answer, yes, my country has many beautiful lakes and rivers that are perfect for fishing. Coastal areas also offer great opportunities for deep sea fishing. Question, what types of fish are popular in your country? Answer, in my country, popular fish include salmon, trout, and mackerel. Each region has its specialties based on local waters and fishing practices. Question, do you think fishing can be a sustainable practice? Answer, yes, fishing can be sustainable if done responsibly. Following regulations and practicing catch and release methods can help maintain fish populations for future generations. Topic, plants. Question, do you like plants? Answer, Yes, I absolutely love plants. They add beauty to my home and contribute to a healthier living environment. I enjoy caring for them and watching them grow. Question, what kind of plants do you have at home? Plus I have a variety of indoor plants, including succulents, ferns, and a couple of flowering plants. They not only beautify my space but also purify the air. Question. Are plants important for the environment? Answer, yes, plants are vital for the environment. They produce oxygen, absorb carbon dioxide, and provide habitats for many species. They also play a crucial role in maintaining biodiversity. Question, do you prefer indoor or outdoor plants? Answer, I enjoy both indoor and outdoor plants. Indoor plants are great for decorating and improving air quality, while outdoor plants, such as trees and flowers, contribute to the overall beauty of the landscape. Question, how do you take care of your plants? Answer, I take care of my plants by ensuring they get enough sunlight, watering them regularly, and using fertilizer when needed. I also check for pests and diseases to keep them healthy. Question. What are the benefits of having plants at home? Answer, having plants at home can reduce stress, improve air quality, and enhance mood. They create a calming atmosphere and can even boost creativity and productivity. Topic, perfume. Topic, perfume. Question, do you like wearing perfume? Answer, yes, I enjoy wearing perfume. It adds a personal touch to my overall style and boosts my confidence. I tend to choose light, floral fragrances that suit my personality and aren't too overpowering. Question, what kind of perfume do you prefer? Answer, I prefer fresh and floral scents with hints of citrus. They make me feel energized and refreshed. 
I also enjoy using different perfumes for different occasions, depending on the season or event. Question. How often do you wear perfume? Answer. I wear perfume almost every day, especially when I'm going to work or meeting friends. It has become a part of my daily routine, much like applying lotion or putting on accessories. Question. Do you think perfume is important? Answer. I think perfume can be important for personal grooming and self-expression. It adds a layer of sophistication and enhances one's presence. However, it's more of a personal preference than a necessity. Question. Have you ever bought a perfume as a gift for someone? Answer. Yes, I have. Perfume makes a thoughtful gift, especially when you know the recipient's taste. I once bought a high-end fragrance for my friend on her birthday, and she absolutely loved it. Question. Do you think people spend too much money on perfume? Answer. It depends on the individual. Some people may consider perfume an indulgence, while others view it as an essential part of their lifestyle. Personally, I think it's fine to spend more on quality perfume if it makes you feel good. Topic. Music. Question. Do you like listening to music? Answer. Yes, I absolutely love listening to music. It helps me relax and unwind after a long day. I enjoy various genres like classical, pop, and even jazz, depending on my mood. Question. What type of music do you like? Answer. I enjoy listening to pop and rock music the most. They have a good rhythm and energize me. Sometimes I listen to classical music when I need to concentrate. Question. Do you prefer listening to live music or recorded music? Answer. I prefer live music because the atmosphere is more vibrant, and it feels more personal. However, recorded music is more convenient as I can listen to it anywhere and anytime. Question. Can music change your mood? Answer. Definitely. If I'm feeling down, upbeat songs can lift my spirits. On the other hand, soft, calming music helps me relax when I feel stressed. Question. Have you ever been to a concert? Answer. Yes, I went to a live concert last year. It was an amazing experience, full of energy and excitement. The crowd was enthusiastic, and the performance was outstanding. Question. Do you think older people and younger people like the same kind of music? Answer. Not usually. Older people tend to prefer traditional or classical music, while younger people often enjoy pop, rock, or electronic genres. However, music preferences are very personal and can vary regardless of age. Topic. Travel Festival. Question. Do you like attending travel festivals? Answer. Yes, I really enjoy attending travel festivals because they give me a chance to learn about different cultures and destinations. It's always exciting to explore new places and meet people who share the same passion for travel. Question. What is the most interesting travel festival you have been to? Answer. The most interesting travel festival I attended was a tourism expo in my city. There were stalls from different countries showcasing their culture, food, and attractions. It felt like I traveled around the world in a day. Question. What do people usually do at travel festivals? Answer. At travel festivals, people usually explore booths that promote various destinations. There are presentations, interactive activities, and even food tasting from different countries. It's also common to see live performances representing various cultures. Question. Are travel festivals popular in your country? Answer. Yes, travel festivals are becoming more popular in my country. Many people attend them to gather information about new destinations and to plan their next holidays. It's also a great way to learn about places they may not have considered visiting before. Question. Why do you think people attend travel festivals? Answer.
people attend travel festivals because they provide a fun and informative way to explore different destinations without actually traveling. It's a great opportunity to discover travel deals, gather inspiration, and learn about the culture, food, and traditions of various places. Question, do you think travel festivals will continue to grow in the future? Answer, yes, I believe travel festivals will continue to grow, especially as people are becoming more curious about different cultures and countries. With travel becoming more accessible, these festivals provide valuable insights and ideas for future trips. Question, what kind of accommodation do you live in? Answer, I live in an apartment in the city. It's a two-bedroom flat with a spacious living room and a small balcony. It's comfortable and convenient because it's close to my workplace. Question, do you think it's better to rent or buy a home? Answer, it depends on the situation. Renting offers flexibility, especially if you're not sure where you'll settle. But buying a home is a good investment and provides long-term stability. Question. What kind of accommodation do most people in your country live in? Answer, in my country, most people live in apartments or houses. In urban areas, apartments are more common due to space limitations, but in rural areas, houses with gardens are more popular. Question, what are the advantages of living in an apartment? Answer, living in an apartment has several advantages, such as being more affordable than a house and often having facilities like security, gyms, and sometimes even swimming pools. It's also easier to maintain since there's less space to take care of. Question, would you prefer to live in a house or an apartment in the future? Answer, I would prefer to live in a house in the future because I like the idea of having more space and a garden. It would also provide more privacy compared to an apartment. Question, what do you think is the most important thing to consider when choosing accommodation? Answer, the most important thing is location. It needs to be convenient for work, school, and daily needs. Other factors like cost, size, and facilities also matter, but location plays a crucial role in overall comfort. Topic, travel. Question, do you like traveling? Answer, yes, I absolutely love traveling. It gives me the opportunity to explore new places, experience different cultures, and take a break from my routine. Question, what's your favorite type of travel? Answer, my favorite type of travel is road trips. I enjoy the freedom of stopping wherever I want and exploring off-the-beaten-path destinations. It's also a more relaxed and flexible way to travel. Question, how often do you travel? Answer, I try to travel at least twice a year, depending on my schedule. Sometimes it's just short weekend trips, but I like to plan one longer vacation annually to a new destination. Question, what is the most interesting place you have visited? Answer, the most interesting place I've visited is Japan. The combination of modern cities and traditional temples, along with the beautiful landscapes, made it a truly unforgettable experience. Question, do you prefer to travel alone or with others? Answer, I prefer to travel with friends or family. It's more fun to share the experiences with someone, and it also feels safer. However, I think solo travel can be a great way to discover more about yourself. Question, why do you think people like to travel? Answer, people like to travel for many reasons, such as to relax, explore new cultures, or escape their daily lives. Travel provides excitement, new experiences, and often leads to personal growth. Topic, running. Question, do you like running? Answer, yes, I enjoy running, especially in the mornings. It helps me stay fit and gives me a good start to the day. I find it refreshing and a great way to clear my mind. Question, how often do you go running? Answer, I try to run about three to four times a week, depending on my schedule. 
It's a part of my regular exercise routine, and I feel great after every run. Question, where do you usually go running? Answer, I usually run in a nearby park. It's quiet and has a nice trail that's perfect for jogging. Sometimes, I run on the streets when I want a change of scenery. Question, have you ever participated in a marathon or running event? Answer, yes, I participated in a 10K run last year. It was a challenging experience but also very rewarding. The sense of accomplishment at the finish line was incredible. Question, do you think running is a good way to stay healthy? Answer, absolutely. Running improves cardiovascular health, strengthens muscles, and helps with weight management. It's also a great way to relieve stress and improve mental health. Question, what are the benefits of running compared to other exercises? Answer, running is convenient because you don't need any special equipment, just a good pair of shoes. It also burns a lot of calories in a short amount of time, making it one of the most effective forms of exercise. Topic, teachers. Question, do you think teachers are important? Answer, absolutely. Teachers play a crucial role in shaping students' futures. They not only impart knowledge but also inspire and motivate students to achieve their goals. Question, what qualities do you think a good teacher should have? Answer, a good teacher should possess qualities such as patience, creativity, and excellent communication skills. They should be able to engage students and adapt their teaching methods to cater to different learning styles. Question, who was your favorite teacher in school? Answer, my favorite teacher was my English teacher in high school. She had a passion for literature that was infectious, and her teaching style made learning enjoyable and interactive. Question, how do you feel about the teachers in your country? Answer, I believe that teachers in my country are dedicated and hardworking. They face many challenges, including large class sizes and limited resources, yet they strive to provide quality education. Question, have you ever taught anyone? Answer, yes, I have taught English to some of my younger relatives. It was a rewarding experience, as I enjoyed sharing knowledge and helping them improve their language skills. Question, what is the role of technology in education today? Answer, technology plays a significant role in modern education. It enhances learning experiences through interactive tools, online resources, and facilitates communication between teachers and students, making education more accessible. Topic, laughter. Question, do you think laughter is important? Answer, yes, laughter is incredibly important. It helps relieve stress, strengthens relationships, and promotes a positive outlook on life. It's a universal language that connects people. Question, what makes you laugh? Answer, I find humor in everyday situations and enjoy watching comedies. Jokes from friends or funny stories often brighten my day as well. Question, how often do you laugh? Answer, I laugh quite often. Whether it's during a lighthearted conversation with friends or while watching a funny movie, I believe laughter should be a regular part of life. Question, can laughter help people in difficult situations? Answer, yes, laughter can be a powerful coping mechanism. It provides a momentary escape from stress and can even help people find perspective during tough times. Question, do you think humor can vary between cultures? Answer, definitely. Humor is often influenced by cultural context, and what one culture finds funny, another might not. It's fascinating to see how humor reflects societal values and norms. Question, have you ever been in a situation where you couldn't stop laughing? Answer, yes, I remember a time during a family gathering when a relative told a hilarious story. We all ended up laughing uncontrollably, and it turned into one of those unforgettable moments. Topic Challenge Question What subject do you think is the most challenging at school? 
Answer, I think mathematics is the most challenging subject at school because it requires a strong understanding of complex concepts, logical thinking, and problem-solving skills. Many students find it difficult to grasp advanced topics without proper guidance and practice. Like to challenge yourself? Answer, yes, I like to challenge myself because it helps me grow and improve my skills. Taking on challenges pushes me out of my comfort zone and motivates me to achieve my goals. Question, do you like to live a life that has a lot of challenges? Answer, while I don't seek out challenges constantly, I appreciate having some challenges in my life. They keep things interesting and provide opportunities for personal and professional growth. However, it's important to have a balance and not be overwhelmed by too many challenges at once. Question. How do you usually deal with challenges in daily life? Answer. I usually deal with challenges in daily life by staying calm and focused. I try to break down the challenge into smaller, manageable steps and approach each one systematically. Seeking advice from others, staying positive, and learning from past experiences also help me overcome difficulties. Topic Memory Question. What did you often do with your friends in your childhood? Answer. In my childhood, I often played games with my friends. We loved playing hide-and-seek, tag, and riding our bikes. We also enjoyed spending time at each other's houses, playing video games or board games. Question. What do you think is the most important at the moment? Answer. Right now, the most important thing for me is focusing on my studies and building a good future. It's also important to spend time with my family and friends and take care of my health. Question, do you have any plans for the next five years? Answer, yes, I have some plans for the next five years. I want to finish my education and start a good job. I also hope to travel to new places, learn new skills, and save money for the future. Question, how do people remember each stage of their lives? Answer, People remember each stage of their lives through photos, videos, and stories they share with others. They also keep memories alive by celebrating birthdays and anniversaries. Sometimes, special objects or places can remind them of important times in their lives. Topic ebooks or paper books. Question, which do you prefer, ebooks or paper books? Answer, I prefer paper books. I enjoy the feeling of holding a physical book and turning the pages. There's something special about the smell of a new book and the experience of reading it without any distractions. Question, when do you usually read online? Answer, I usually read online when I am looking for quick information or reading articles and news. I also read ebooks when I am traveling because it's more convenient to carry a tablet or e-reader than several physical books. Question, will you read more online in the future? Answer, yes, I think I will read more online in the future. As technology advances, ebooks and online articles are becoming more accessible and convenient. However, I will still enjoy reading paper books for leisure and relaxation. Question, do you think paper books will disappear in the future? Answer, I don't think paper books will completely disappear in the future. While ebooks are becoming more popular, many people still love the experience of reading a physical book. Paper books have a unique charm and appeal that I believe will always have a place in our lives. Topic Exciting Activities Question, have you ever tried any exciting activities? Answer, yes, I have tried several exciting activities. One of the most thrilling experiences was paragliding. Flying high above the ground and enjoying the breathtaking views was both exhilarating and unforgettable. Question, what do you think were exciting activities when you were a child? Answer, when I was a child, exciting activities included going to amusement parks, riding roller coasters, and playing adventure games with my friends. Exploring new places, like forests or beaches, and discovering hidden spots was also very thrilling. Question, has anything exciting happened to you recently? Answer, yes, something exciting happened to me recently. I went on a spontaneous road trip with my friends. We explored new places, tried different foods, and had a lot of fun. 
The trip was full of unexpected adventures and great memories. Question. Would you like to try scuba diving and bungee jumping? Answer. Yes, I would love to try both scuba diving and bungee jumping. Scuba diving would be an amazing opportunity to explore the underwater world and see marine life up close. Bungee jumping would be a thrilling experience, giving me an adrenaline rush and a sense of accomplishment. Topic Breakfast Question. What do you usually eat for breakfast? Answer. I usually eat a simple breakfast that includes toast with butter or jam, a piece of fruit, and a cup of coffee. Sometimes, I might have cereal with milk or a yogurt with granola. Question, do you think breakfast is important? Answer, yes, I think breakfast is very important. It provides the energy needed to start the day and helps improve concentration and performance throughout the morning. Eating a healthy breakfast can also prevent overeating later in the day. Question, are there any differences between the mornings of your childhood and now? Answer, yes, there are differences between the mornings of my childhood and now. As a child, my breakfasts were more elaborate, often including eggs, pancakes, or porridge, and I had more time to enjoy them. Now, my mornings are busier so my breakfasts are quicker and more straightforward. Question, would you like to change your morning routine? Answer, yes, I would like to change my morning routine to include more time for a relaxed breakfast. I would also like to incorporate some exercise, like a short walk or yoga, to start the day more energetically and positively. Topic number. Question, are you good at math? Answer, yes, I am quite good at math. I have always enjoyed solving mathematical problems and understanding how numbers work. It's a subject that comes naturally to me and I find it very satisfying. Question, do you usually use numbers? Question, yes, I use numbers frequently in my daily life. Whether it's budgeting my expenses, measuring ingredients while cooking, or calculating distances and times, numbers are a part of many activities I do every day. Question, are you good at remembering phone numbers? Answer, I'm not particularly good at remembering phone numbers. With the convenience of storing contacts in mobile phones, I rarely need to memorize them. However, I do remember a few important ones, like my family members' numbers. Question, what's your favorite number? Answer, my favorite number is 7. It has always seemed lucky to me and I like how it appears in many different cultures and contexts, often representing good fortune and completeness. Topic pen or a pencil. Question, do you usually use a pen or a pencil? Answer, I usually use a pen. I find it more convenient for writing notes, signing documents, and other everyday tasks. However, I use a pencil when I need to make sketches or do calculations where I might need to erase and make changes. Question, what do you think if someone gives you a pen or pencil as a present? Answer, I would appreciate it if someone gave me a pen or pencil as a present. It's a practical gift that I can use daily. If it's a high-quality or personalized pen, it would feel even more special and thoughtful. Question, when was the last time you bought a pen or pencil? Answer, the last time I bought a pen was about a month ago. I needed a new set of pens for taking notes in my classes. I bought a variety of colors to make my notes more organized and visually appealing. Question, which do you use more often? Pen or pencil? Answer, I use a pen more often. It's more suitable for most of my daily tasks, such as writing in my journal, taking notes in class, and filling out forms. However, I switch to a pencil when I need to do any work that requires erasing or precision, like drawing or drafting. Topic Morning Routine Question, do you like to get up early in the morning? Answer, yes, I like to get up early in the morning. It gives me a head start on the day and allows me to accomplish more. I find that I am more productive and have more energy when I start my day early. Question, what is your morning routine? Answer, my morning routine starts with getting up around 6.30 a.m. I first brush my teeth and wash my face. 
Then, I do a short workout or some stretching to wake up my body. After that, I have a healthy breakfast and spend a few minutes planning my tasks for the day. Question, is breakfast important? Answer, yes, breakfast is very important. It provides the energy and nutrients needed to start the day properly. A good breakfast helps improve concentration and performance throughout the morning. It also prevents overeating later in the day. Question, what do you do right after getting up in the morning? Answer, right after getting up in the morning, I brush my teeth and wash my face. This helps me feel refreshed and ready to start my day. Then, I usually do a quick workout or some stretching exercises to wake up my body and boost my energy levels. Topic Film Question, what films do you like? Answer, I like a variety of films, but my favorites are usually in the genres of science fiction, fantasy, and drama. I enjoy movies with complex characters and intriguing storylines. I also appreciate well-made documentaries and animated films. Question, did you often watch films when you were a child? Answer, yes, I often watched films when I was a child. I loved animated movies and family-friendly adventures. Watching films was a fun way to spend time with family and friends, especially on weekends and holidays. Question, did you ever go to the cinema alone as a child? Answer, no, I never went to the cinema alone as a child. I always went with my parents, siblings, or friends. It was a social activity, and I enjoyed sharing the experience with others. Question, do you often go to the cinema with your friends? Answer, yes, I often go to the cinema with my friends. It's a great way to catch up and enjoy a movie together. We usually make an evening of it, sometimes going for dinner or coffee before or after the film. Topic Weekend Question, do you like weekends? Answer, yes, I love weekends because they provide a break from the routine of the weekdays. It's a great time to relax, unwind, and spend quality time with family and friends. Question, what do you usually do on weekends? Do you study or work? Answer, on weekends, I usually engage in a mix of activities. I spend time with family and friends, pursue hobbies, and sometimes catch up on any pending work or study if needed. However, I try to keep the balance more towards leisure and relaxation. Question, what did you do last weekend? Answer, last weekend, I went on a short trip to the countryside with some friends. We enjoyed hiking, had a picnic, and visited a local market. It was a refreshing change from the usual routine. Question, do you make plans for your weekends? Answer, yes, I usually make plans for my weekends to ensure I make the most of my free time. I like to schedule activities in advance, whether it's meeting up with friends, attending events, or simply relaxing at home with a good book or movie. Topic Weather Question, what's the weather like where you live? Answer, where I live, the weather is generally temperate with distinct seasons. Summers are warm, winters are cold with occasional snowfall, and spring and fall are mild and pleasant. Question, do you prefer cold or hot weather? Answer, I prefer mild weather, but if I had to choose, I would lean towards cold weather. It's easier to bundle up and get cozy in cold weather, while hot weather can be more uncomfortable. Question, do you prefer dry or wet weather? Answer, I prefer dry weather. Wet weather can be inconvenient, especially if you need to be outside or travel. Dry weather is generally more comfortable for daily activities. Question, are you in the habit of checking the weather forecast? When and how often? Answer, yes, I am in the habit of checking the weather forecast. I usually check it every morning before heading out to plan my day and ensure I'm dressed appropriately. I also check it if I have specific outdoor plans. Question, what do you think are the effects of climate change in recent years? Answer, the effects of climate change in recent years have been significant, including increased temperatures, more frequent and severe weather events, and rising sea levels due to melting ice caps. These changes are disrupting ecosystems, affecting agriculture, 
and posing health risks. Question. Would you like to visit other cities that have different climates from where you live? Answer. Yes, I would love to visit other cities with different climates. Experiencing different weather patterns can be exciting and offer a new perspective. It's also a great way to explore diverse environments and cultures. Topic. Sports. Question. Do you know any people who are good at sports? Answer. Yes, I know several people who are good at sports, including a few friends who play basketball and soccer at a competitive level. Their dedication and skill are really impressive. Question. Do you think it is important for people to exercise? Answer. Yes, I think it's very important for people to exercise. Regular physical activity helps maintain good health, reduces the risk of chronic diseases, improves mental well-being, and boosts overall quality of life. Question. What sports do you like? Answer. I like playing tennis and swimming. Tennis is great for its competitive and strategic nature, while swimming is relaxing and excellent for a full-body workout. Question. Where did you learn how to do it? Answer. I learned how to play tennis in a local sports club where I took lessons as a teenager. As for swimming, I learned at a community pool during summer camps when I was a child.